The Death Star from Star Wars is a huge space structure, but how big is it? In this video, I'm going to compare the size of the Death Star to Earth, the Moon, and other objects you'd find in the solar system and the universe. Hi there, I'm Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and on this channel you'll find videos on the science and engineering behind superheroes, Star Wars, and lots more besides. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring the bell to get notifications on the latest videos. Let's get into the Death Star. Okay, the first question that needs to be answered, how big is the Death Star? Now, any numbers I'm gonna use in this video coming directly from the Star Wars fandom site. I'm not making these numbers up. That's what you'll find on that particular website. There have been two Death Stars of note that I wanna talk about. One that's appeared in Star Wars 4 A New Hope and the second one, which is in Star Wars 6 Return of the Jedi. Let's take a look at the comparison between these two different Death Stars. Right, how big is the Death Star? In this case, Death Stars, because I'm gonna look at two different Death Stars from the films. The first one featured in Star Wars 4 A New Hope, and the second one featured in Return of the Jedi. Now, when I talk about size and how big something is, and in terms of the Death Star, in this case, I'm referring to diameter. That's the measurement I'm gonna be looking at. And the diameter of these is actually quite close. The diameter of the Death Star that featured in Star Wars 4 A New Hope is 160 kilometers, while the Death Star from Return of the Jedi has a slightly larger diameter of 200 kilometers. Now in this image, they look exactly the same size, and it would be better if we could draw these to scale so you could get an idea of how much bigger the larger one is than the smaller one. And to do so, all you have to do is scale the Death Star icon I have here from Star Wars A New Hope so that it looks smaller and it looks smaller in the right proportion in comparison to the Death Star from Return of the Jedi. And when I do that, well, the comparison looks like this. This resizing approach is gonna be really important for some of the other comparisons that I'm gonna talk about in this video. Right, that's Dead Star compared to Dead Star, but what about comparing the size of the Dead Star to objects in the solar system and further afield, like Earth? In these comparisons, I'm gonna use the Death Star from Return of the Jedi because it's the biggest Death Star at a diameter of 200 kilometers. Let's take a look at our first comparison of the Death Star versus Earth. In terms of their diameters, there's a big difference between the two. The Death Star from Return of the Jedi has a diameter of 200 kilometers, while the Earth has a diameter of 12,742 kilometers. Like I showed you earlier on with the two Death Stars, it would be nice to draw these to scale so you can see how much one is bigger than the other. And to do that, we need to calculate a ratio, which is calculated by dividing the diameter of the Earth by, by the diameter of the Death Star. And when we do that, well, we can scale then the Death Star to the size it would look like if it was side by side with Earth in outer space, and it would look something like this. And you might be thinking, well, hold on a minute, I can't see it, is it actually the image? Well, we can zoom in and you can see the Death Star in this image side by side with the Earth. And if you don't see it clearly, there it is right there. It's quite small in comparison to the Earth. Still a pretty big object, but in terms of the size of the Earth, it's quite small. That's how the Earth compares to the Death Star from Return of the Jedi in terms of size. But what about our natural satellite, the Moon? Let's take a look at that comparison. Right, let's compare the diameter of the Death Star from Return of the Jedi with our moon. Now the Death Star from Return of the Jedi has a diameter of roughly around 200 kilometers. Our moon though has a diameter of 3,474 kilometers, much bigger than the Death Star from Return of the Jedi. Now it would be nice if we could directly compare these and to do so on the screen here. And the best way to do that, of course, is to calculate that all important scaling ratio, which is calculated by dividing the diameter of the moon by the diameter of the Death Star, and then resizing the image of the Death Star here. And if you do that, well, you find that the Death Star would look like this if it were side by side with the moon. And to get a better look at it, let's, let, let's get a zoom in. So if you were to look up at the night sky and see the moon 
and lucky enough to see somehow the Death Star, this is how they'd appear in the night sky. We now know that the Death Star is much smaller than Earth, our home, and also much smaller than the moon. And surely it must be much smaller than the sun too. Well, if you assumed that, you'd be absolutely right because the diameter of our sun is 1.4 million kilometers. The Death Star would be tiny in comparison to our sun. And the other thing to keep in mind about our sun is it's actually a star. But the Death Star has got star in its name, but it's really small in comparison to our sun. That leads to the question, is there a type of star out there that has a diameter which is somewhat close to 200 kilometers? The first type of star to consider is a red dwarf star. Now, if it's got dwarf in it, it's probably really small, right? It would be a major assumption to make, but because it's got dwarf in the name, it must be small. Well, red dwarf stars are still quite big. In fact, the smallest of the red dwarf stars still has a diameter of roughly 8% of the diameter of the sun, which is around 112,000 kilometers. That's, of course, far too big. So a red dwarf star is much bigger than the Death Star. The next type of star to check is a white dwarf star, which is kind of like the burning ember of a star after it's used all of its fuel. Imagine the kind of embers you'd see in a fire after the fire has just gone out. For instance, our sun will eventually become a white dwarf star when it runs out of fuel in a few billion years. But a white dwarf star can still be roughly around the same size as a planet like Earth and we already know that Earth is much bigger than the Death Star. And the last option to consider is a neutron star. A neutron star is the collapsed core of a massive star. That will be a star that has a mass 10 or more times than, than that of our sun. And neutron stars can have a diameter of roughly around 20 or 30 kilometers. Now we're in the right ballpark in terms of a star being roughly around the same size as the Death Star. Even if the neutron star is 20 kilometers in diameter, it's still 10 times smaller than the Death Star from Return of the Jedi. Nevertheless, this is the closest we've come in terms of a star that could be around the same size as the Death Star. Maybe it's the same size as a giant neutron star, and perhaps it would be better to call the Death Star the Death Giant Neutron Star. On second thoughts, that's kind of a bit long. In fact, the Death Star is closest in size to a moon that you'll find in the solar system. That moon is Larissa and it's in orbit around the planet Neptune. Perhaps then it would be better to call the Death Star the Death Moon. And there you have it. The Death Star from Star Wars really is small in comparison to Earth, our moon, and other stars that you might find in the universe. And while it's roughly around 10 times bigger than a neutron star, a better name would be the Death Moon, given that it's quite similar in size to some moons that you find in the solar system and probably in other parts of the universe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this size comparison of the Death Star with objects from the solar system. Stay tuned for more videos on Star Wars, superhero science, engineering, and lots of other topics. I've been Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and until I see you next time, always think super.